Uh, section 17.7 uh, will discuss two things how a common ion affects solubility and how the pH of the solution affects solubility. So, I am going to start with an example. Let us take the case of silver chloride. Uh, silver chloride, <coughs> consider a solution of silver chloride in pure water. So, aqueous and Cl negative. Um, and at 25 degrees Celsius, the molar solubility of silver chloride is 1.33 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now, what happens? So, this is in the pure water. But what happens if you add um, 0. Point, let's say 200 molar NaCl solution into it, then the KSP value changes to 8.85 times 10 to the negative 10th molar. The value is decreasing <coughs> from 1.33 times 10 to the negative 5 to 8.85 times to the negative 10th, which means case, uh, molar solubility is getting lower. Lower means So, what this sodium chloride is doing, so look here, sodium chloride is a strong electrolyte, silver chloride is a weak electrolyte and they both have one ion in common which is chloride ions. So, when you add sodium chloride, basically you are adding chloride ions and then based on Lee Chatelier's principle, if you are adding the product, the equilibrium shifts to the left. That means it is making your solid silver chloride back. So, the common, this is known as the common ion effect because you are adding a common ion. And that basically what it does, it suppresses, it suppresses the ionization of a weak electrolyte. In this case, we took the example of silver chloride and how by the presence of a strong electrolyte which is NaCl containing an ion, chloride ion in common with the weak electrolyte. So, the point is if you are adding something and it has a common ion, equilibrium will shift to the left and it is going to basically uh, affect the solubility. <clears throat> so, common ions reduce the solubility of ionic compounds. So, in this example, it is the same one, the one I discussed on the um, previous slide. The only thing is in this one, we are going to show the complete work to see how we got the answer of 8.85 times 10 to the negative 10. So, first, let us talk silver chloride. So, here is silver chloride, solid silver ions and chloride ions aqueous. We will make the ICE and initially it is in excess. There is no silver ion, but since 0 0.200 molar sodium chloride is also added, which means I have 0 0.200 molar initially chloride ions. Now, X, X and X. So, at equilibrium, we are going to have X and 0 0.200 plus X. <coughs> KSP will be equal to expression AG plus times Cl negative. Ag plus is x times 0 0.200 plus x and that is Ksp. Now, again what we are going to do here is we are going to assume that 
x is this x the dissociation or is much much smaller than this 0 0.200 and so that we can ignore this x to avoid the um, quadratic equation so that means it will be 0 0.200 x and what this 0 uh, k s p equals this <clears throat> uh, now this k s p value um, the k s p value from uh, table 17.2 it is 1.77 times 10 to the negative 10th equals 0 0.200 x and we will find x will come out as 8.85 times 10 to the negative 10th molar. <clears throat> so compare this molar solubility with molar solubility uh, AGCL. So it is 1.33 times 10 to the negative fifth but now in in the aqueous solution of sodium chloride, it is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 10, uh, much lower than the silver chloride in pure water due to the presence of common ion chloride. <clears throat> uh, the second thing we're going to do is, we're going to study the effect of pH on the solubility. Um, pH of a solution that will definitely affect the solubility of an ionic compound that has a basic anion. That's very important, basic anion. Uh, why? Because low pH means solution is acidic and this basic anion is going to neutralize the <coughs> uh, base. So example. So for example, let's look at this example, magnesium hydroxide. Uh, this is a solid and it's in the saturated solution of magnesium hydroxide. Equilibrium expression is this. And if we have, let's say solution is acidic, then acidic solution means we have hydronium ions in the solution. And what will that do? Those hydronium ions will combine with these hydroxide ions and to neutralize them. And since one of the products is removed, that means according to Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium will shift to the right. Because if <coughs> product is removed, now the system wants to make it more. So, <coughs> I'm going to cross this line. Uh, let's just ignore this one. So here, for example, these two cases. <clears throat> uh, determine which of the following compounds will be more soluble in acidic solution than in neutral or basic solution. <clears throat> now, mercuric hydroxide uh, if I write down the, we really do not have to write this down, uh, but still, this will be more soluble in acidic solution, more soluble in acidic solution. And why is that? Because the H plus or the hydronium ions from the acidic solution will remove this <coughs> strong base OH negative from the equilibrium and forcing your equilibrium reaction to shift on the right. It means forcing more mercuric hydroxide to dissolve. So this will be more soluble in acidic solution. Um, let's take another case, uh, cuprous bromide. 
cuprous bromide again let's write down the equilibrium cu uh, plus aqueous and br negative now cuprous bromide will not be more soluble in acidic solution why is that because here your basic anion bromide ion is a weak base it's a weak base and it will not uh, react much with the H plus or hydronium ions present in the solution now why is this bromide a weak base then think about what it is corresponding acid HBr because Br negative is a conjugate base of a strong acid and so the strong acids produce very weak conjugate bases uh, so that's why it will not be very soluble in acidic solution